Today we're going to meet a special person really who has been a patient of ours at Atticus Health for a number of years and yeah, she's got an interesting story. To get there we've got to venture over to French Island which is in Western Port in Victoria. An interesting place, far but close, the same but totally different all at once. Andrew, it's been a while. Mm. I mean, you moved here to French Island in 2016. Mm -hmm. I suppose, why did you come here? We never planned to come here. Mm. We've checked out a few other properties here. We came to the island we've never been before and we fell in love and we sold everything else and we moved here. We just had to do it. We didn't want to live our lives and, and think that we've never tried it. Mm -hmm. We've been here, we wanted, but yeah, we just didn't take up the courage to move. You just didn't plan this. No. It just happened. It just happened. <laughs> Have you always been like that? Or? Um, I think so. Mm. Uh, I think uh, I make decisions fairly quickly. Mm. There is really, we've got nothing to lose. It's such a short life that we have. I've been so uh, through so much stuff personally that I think the best day is today and we can't dwell on the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For other people out there who are thinking of making some sort of move in mm -hmm. their life, what would you say to them? Go for it. Mm -hmm. You've got nothing to lose. Get out of your comfort zone and when you're actually doing it, uh, you actually will think, why haven't I done that earlier? Mm, if you have a dream, uh, just one step at a time, go for it. You, you work on the mainland, don't you? Is that I your... have, but... It probably will be a couple more years before I go back, I decided. I've worked a lot, yeah. a lot. Yeah. But I've worked on the mainland. I went over every day, just at HMAS Cerberus. Yeah, yeah. Um, the so naval base. The naval yeah. base, yes. I remember you used to work in uh, South, South Sarah. Sarah. Oh, yeah, a massive wow. change. I mean, I was <laughs> so busy, yeah. you know. It's amazing that we came here hmm. uh, from a very built up, area in Melbourne mm. and yet we had not known who was living next door mm. or barely spoke with our neighbours yet we've got neighbours who live a couple of kilometres down the road mm. and we look after each other more and mm. talk to each other more and know about each other more mm. than when we lived three metres apart mm. and that's a massive revelation. Yes. That's yeah. it. Our movement, if you like, is called Diamond Kind, mm -hmm. which I've always taught and reflected in my own life, and sometimes there's pressure there, mm -hmm. and uh, I justified that on the basis that, okay, pressure makes diamonds, mm -hmm. and if, that's great, like it brings out the best of people at times, and sometimes all the same it can bring out the worst. But the question is, can you describe a moment then where you are under a great deal of pressure, mm and you are able to come through that mm. time with kindness. There's many, obviously, but one pops into my ha head is um, when there was a lot of pressure to keep, keep my dental surgery. And I held on to every little bit that came out of there when the building was demolished. It was just massive pressure. Mm. And I've had it all tucked in the shed and uh, one day I woke up and I said, I have to give it away. Mm. And I did. So whatever that was good enough, I gave it to dental practices that I knew. Mm -hmm. um, and it was there for a reason, but it doesn't mean that I have to continue with that. Mm. And so I let it go and the pressure's off. Yeah, wow. And I suppose I have to look at it as a, as a child. You. You raise them, and mm. at some point you have to let them go. Mm. Took a few years to get over, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I did, so. Wow, that's, uh, 
Yeah, wow, that's really powerful. And indeed, the people uh, who took all that equipment would have been very happy about it. I'm I sure, hope so, it? yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. really lovely and, and mm. a kind thing to do. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. That's very powerful. And Andrew, now to thank you. Oh this God. is our energy drink. Thank you. A15, so you can have a few of those and hopefully it'll, it'll give you... Uh, energy to run after the kids. Energy to run after the kids. <laughs> thank energy you. to push through if ever you have any uh, more pressure, which we all do. So thank Tell you Tell me again. more about this. Oh, well, <laughs> no, no, another time. No, no.